my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my June favorites of 2018. I feel like June went by so fast. It was definitely a fun-filled, packed month. I was definitely super busy. Very productive month actually. But uh, yeah, I definitely have some favorites to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for the past couple of months, I've been having some serious dryness issues on my right eyelid super random, I know, but I couldn't figure out what the cause of it was. Um, and while I was trying to figure it out, I was trying a bunch of different eye creams to try to hydrate and moisturize my eyelid. <laughs> Nothing was working and certain things were irritating it even worse. But the thing that helped the situation, which helped with the dryness, and which kind of alleviated some of the itchiness, was this eye cream here. This is the Peerless Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum. So this claims to be an intensive hydration, it firms, it brightens, and it decreases puffiness. I can't say that it's done any of the rest of those things other than the intensive hydration, which has helped a lot. It comes in a little pump, which I really like, and the pump, if you just do like half a pump, like you're not fully going for the pump and you're just doing a little half pump, it's just the right amount of size that comes out for your full top eyelid, and then you do another half pump for your bottom eyelid. Anyways, I've really, really been thankful for this eye cream. I got it in one of my BoxyCharm subscription boxes, um, and I decided to give it a go and I really like it. Continuing with my dry eyelid story, I ended up finding that the cause of the dry eyelid was because of my makeup remover. So I was using a micellar water, and it's a product that I've been using for a really long time now. Um, I go through those bottles pretty frequently because I'm constantly using it every single day, but randomly my eyelid decided to react to it. I ended up finding out that it was my makeup remover because when I went to stay at Olivier's sister's place for my vlog in Montreal, um, I actually forgot to pack my makeup remover and she was kind enough to lend me a sample size of a makeup remover that she had. This was that product and Oh my goodness, did my eyelids thank me after that weekend. So I went straight away and bought a big bottle of it. So this is the Aderma Rhea Calm Soothing Micellar Cleansing Milk. And it's good for the face, eyes, and lips, and it's good for reactive skin. Apparently, do I not only have sensitive skin, I now have reactive skin too. So yeah, this month um, has been great because it's been full of revelations. I finally figured out what was causing my dry eyelid because my eyes cleared up after that weekend. And then when I came back home and I reused my makeup remover, it happened again. So I went straight to using this because that was the telltale moment. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like I've been rambling on about this for way too long. I hope that I'm able to edit this to make sense, but yes. Switching up your face products has been great and very revealing this month, and it's been so satisfying figuring out what has been going on. <laughs> they have made it into the rotation for sure. Next up, I have a single eyeshadow to talk to you guys about. This is the NYX Cougar Single Eyeshadow. It's kind of like a mustardy type yellow, and I've been super into this type of color for summer. I just think it's bright, it's sunshine. I've done a few different looks using this color, either on the outside corner of my eyelid or smudging it under the bottom lash line. I've been really trying to incorporate colors into my makeup looks when I can because I feel like I'm always doing like a neutral or very subtle look. And I have all of these eyeshadows and I gotta use them up, you know, or else they're gonna go bad. So here we are this month. I've been really liking yellow. Can you tell? <laughs> oh look, another yellow product. <laughs> this is the Guava Cadavra Oh Oh It's Magic Tea from David's Tea. Funny story, going back to when I was at Yasmin and Johnny's house in Montreal for the weekend, we were making some tea and then they were kind of naming out the options of their tea flavors and then I was like, oh, Guava Cadavra, I have that at my house, I had forgotten about it. And then she had told me, Sarah, you're the one who bought it for me. <laughs> So yeah, so that just proves that I really like this tea. I kind of forgot about it and I've been reintroduced to it this month. There's a picture of like a frozen, not a frozen, but like a cold tea um, and I've never tried that. I'm really intrigued. I always drink it hot. For those of you wondering what kind of tea it is, it's a fruit infusion tea. And it says that it's made with mango, hibiscus, and guava. This sweet tropical fruit blend is seriously magical. Ice yourself a cup and prepare to fall under its spell. See? I need to try it cold. It's a very sweet berry type of tea. 
Ow! <laughs> I also have a food item to share. Um, so these are the Lara bars, specifically the peanut butter bars and the peanut butter chocolate chip. I like peanut butter, what can I say? Olivier was the one who actually introduced me to these bars. It's definitely an energy bar. And what I mean by that is like, these bars are like over 200 calories for just this tiny little bars. It's one of those things, if you don't have time to eat breakfast in the morning, grab one of these bars and eat it and you'll be full. You'll be good. As for the songs this month, I've been really liking the song Nice For What by Drake. Um, I feel like it gives some like early 2000 vibes with the girl singing in the beginning. Does anyone else feel that? I don't know. I can't even pinpoint which song it kind of reminds me the vibe of, but I really like it. And I like the song Jackie Chan by Tiesto and Zeko. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Tiesto and Zeko featuring Prem and Post Malone. I feel like it's a good summer jam. So yeah, that is everything that I've been loving for the month of June. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!